The Mets take on the Marlins, 12-10 p.m. Eastern first pitch. The New York Mets are minus 155, totals 8. The Marlins are plus $1.35 for some money line cash. And if you like them on the run line, they're minus 120, catching the one and a half. Braxton Garrett on the mound here for the Marlins. Rich Hill for the Mets. And we're 5-1 in our last six extra daily picks on my Patreon website. And if you want to access today's extra daily pick, it's only going to cost you just $2.99. We're also a perfect 4-0 in our last four Major League Baseball tier package picks on my Patreon website as well. We currently have over 750 members who are signed up and active on that page. And if you want to see which one of these YouTube picks I'm actually betting on personally, link for that page is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash Brock page. Now, the Mets have lost three out of their last four ball games, three and six straight up in their last nine. This Mets lineup is also in the bottom three in scoring. They're averaging only 3.8 runs a game. Now, they're taking on a Miami club who won two out of their last three, with both of those victories coming against the first place Mets. And as a matter of fact, this Marlins pitching staff ranks in the top five in fewest home hits allowed. They're giving up only 3.5 runs a game at Lone Depot Park. And of course, when it comes to the total in this one, Miami went 60% to the over, oddly enough, in their last 10 ball games. The Mets saw their last three straight road games get over the number as well. I'm going to lean toward the Miami Marlins, plus 135 in the over eight runs. Next ball game, Red Sox, Tigers, 110 p.m. East. The Boston Red Sox are minus 135, numbers 10. Martin Perez for Boston, Tark Skubel for Detroit. Now, Skubel's just 6 and 10 on the year, 453 ERA, and a 1.32 whip. The Tigers have lost three out of their last five ball games. Their pitching staff is in the bottom 10 and runs allowed per contest. They're taking on a Red Sox club who really does a nice job hitting the baseball. Boston is currently in the top three in the majors and hits on average per game. And they're led by Rafael Devers, who's second in the league with 82 runs batted in. Now, the third baseman has also hit 27 home runs, along with a 927 OPS. Meanwhile, pitching-wise, Martin Perez has seven wins thus far in the year, along with 83 strikeouts. When it comes to the number in this one, Boston went 7-3 and three to the under, in their last 10 outings. Meanwhile, the Tigers are 6-0 and to the under in their last six at Comerica Park. I'm going to lean toward the Boston Red Sox, minus 135 in the under 10 runs. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for our part one video. It is going to be Angels versus the Rangers, 205 Eastern start time. Now, both teams are minus a buck 10 with the total at nine flat. Dylan Bundy for Los Angeles, Spencer Howard for Texas. Now, Spencer Howard's thrown just 28 and a third innings this season. 0-2 record and a 5.72 ERA. The former Philly has also got himself a whip of 1.48. Now, the last place Rangers are 30 games below 500, and their pitchers are in the bottom three in striking batters out at home. They're taking on an Angels club who won their last two straight with both of those victories coming over Texas. Now, Los Angeles is currently in the top five in the league in hits. And they're led by Shohei Otani, who's hit a league-leading 37 homers and also knocked in 82. Now, when it comes to the scoring in this one, the Angels are 16-12 and 12 to the under in their divisional games on the road. Meanwhile, the Rangers went 60% to the under in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward the LA Angels minus a buck 10 and the under nine runs of that, guys. Now it's time for our quick pick recap powered to you by my Patreon website. Uh, I like the Miami Marlins plus a dollar 35 over eight runs. Boston Red Sox minus 135 under 10. Before I give you my next and final uh, free pick for the video here, just another quick reminder that we are 5-1 in our last six Extra Daily Pick tier package plays on my Patreon website. And if you want to access today's Extra Daily Pick, 
It's only going to cost you just $2.99. We're also perfect 4-0 in our last four Major League Baseball tier package picks on that very uh, same web uh, webpage as well. With that, I'm going to lean toward the LA Angels minus a buck 10 and the under nine runs. And with that, guys, now it's time for our shout out of the day. And that goes to DJ Wavy, who said, what's up, brother? Time to come to the MLB side God bless. And I'll tell you what, uh, DJ Wavy, that's certainly not a, a bad idea. Uh, first of all, thank you uh, to you for dropping me a line. Uh, you've been a very loyal uh, a listener, uh, watcher, and, and commenter over the past what, couple of years or so. Uh, I love your positivity. I love the uh, energy you bring to the uh, comment section. So uh, to start, I just I appreciate you. And I just got to let you know that. But uh, you know what? It may be a good time to uh, come to the MLB side. This is uh, easily our best uh, year for Major League Baseball. And normally, um, this time of year, uh, you know, you see a little bit more losses on the Patreon site. You know, the overall record starts to go down because Major League Baseball is incredibly hard uh, to handicap. But I'll tell you what, man, we're having a great year. This is our best year. Uh, on Patreon, Handicap and Major League Baseball. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll tell you what, at the end of the month, man, football season starts and uh, we're kind of right back into the, full, uh, into the full swing of things. But yeah, if you want some action for the next couple of weeks, uh, DJ Wavy, I'd certainly uh, consider maybe betting a few of these uh, Major League Baseball games. We're having one heck of a run here this summer. But uh, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my Patreon website, just keep in mind, Patreon's going to bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a membership here today on my Patreon site, you're going to get access to that content all the way through the end of August. Uh, so certainly good value. I always tell folks uh, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better, but uh, with that, guys, uh, all that in mind. Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Uh, you know, it's been a really good summer. You know, views have been uh, very solid. Subscribers are up. And uh, so I'm, I'm just having a really, really good time uh, doing this whole uh, handicapping thing. I love it. I enjoy it. And I love connecting with you guys. So uh, once again, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoy all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Thursday to you, best of luck to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.